Hello, everyone. I'm really happy to be here. I'm a little bit excited. I see a great community over here. This is a Wikipedia community, and um, it's really very beautiful to see Turkic language Wikimedians over here. And um, I'm really happy to have the opportunity to speak in front of our community. Thank you. I am Orkut Murat Inmas. I'm one of the members of Open Wiki Data, Open Data. I'm doing research about this in Turkey. I am a member of some institutions. Open and for community information data. It's really very important to work for me about it. Uh, it was established in 2017, and since then, we have been researching a lot of other things. Uh, it comes from at Latinic, Geofier, Geo. There is, you see, there is a video of one of the first things we have done. And here we see some refugees. We have established some workshops in languages, Syrian, Pashto language, Arabic language. We have worked to provide supply, supply help to people around there. This was that kind of a research, study, work, we can say. Refugee problem is becoming a very interesting topic, and if you follow it about it, we have a climate exchange, climate change problem, and right now, as well as that, we see that one people in every four people is becoming a refugee, and Turkey is supposed to have more than 20,000 people refugees until 2035. We should lean more to this kind of subject as open source of information. So OpenStreetMap is one of the biggest, one of the most common work we work on. Ticost is a program somewhere. Ticost is a person who wanted to use while he was cycling. He wanted to be able to see the maps, but it is not easy to establish and publish a map just like you want it. They have huge limitations about making a map, establishing a map. You cannot just, you can just cycle, discover somewhere, and save all of this data your loca location and everything, and then you can publish it online. So, you can zoom in and zoom out of these images that Mr. Steck has published. OpenStreetMap is just one person project at the beginning, but right now it established millions of data. And it's around everywhere on the map. On Instagram today, or eDevlet, what we call on rail on the roads, we can see open street map. What is the most important thing about open street is this is localization place. This is generally for the goodness for the communities. It's really important for not just one person, but for the community. Vikiviri, as you know, Creative Commons user. OpenStreetMap has another license. 
There were some discussions between two sides because of these two licenses, but there they have some advantages and disadvantages at the same time. People all around the world use this open street map for very many different reasons. You can use this for goodness, donations, to visit, financial problems, financial purposes. There is one important one important thing on open street map which is Haiti earthquake. You will see a video right now. In 2010, there was an earthquake in Haiti. The earthquake was nine. Recently, in Istanbul, we have seen in 1999, there was an earthquake, which was a big earthquake, you know. And after the, after the coma, every single number added means a huge change. So nine is a big number. There are some specialists that want to they want to establish some places if you have any tents, if you have any health centers, if you will put some medicine. They wanted to a local and updated information around the place. But there was no. So Haiti in Haiti or Haiti map has been done as have been established, has been written painted by British people. So Haitian people do not have it. So they send an email or something to open street map people. They were talking, discussing about we can do it or not. They say that we need some updated videos. Digital Globa is a company. They send emails, tweets. Right now its name is Maxar. Is the biggest photo media right now. They donate this group, they donate photos of Haiti just at just before the earthquake and just after the earthquake. So some people they write an order for the researches. So 17,000 people come along, they, they do the map of Haiti in 17 days. Right now I can say that with this technology and everything, with eight days, or eight days, I have established eight days, with eight days, it's impossible to do it. The earthquake, as you see, the people are gathering. And second by second, they're updating information. Open, as you know, OpenStreetMap is a member of Open Information Group. Other people who are also a member of Open Information Group, there are a group also inside that group which is specialized on HOT. Open Street Foundation is in British, Britain. Humanitarian Open Street is in 
Washington, D.C. right now. It's called HOT right now as an abbreviation. There are 400,000 people all around the world. They are working on refugees, equality, gender equality. They produce geographical information voluntarily. They have a snack channel and they are trying to emergence help, emergence action they need. So they do researches via updated information. We shouldn't check this, this help, volunteer help, donation. They have done a campaign for vacations. They have asked, for example, in the villages, they have so they are not having maps because there is no Starbucks so there is no mapping issue like the problem why should they make the map of it so there is no some somewhere which is very important we are talking about a very small village so the people wanted to make a good help to the village for the children so they were asking if the children are vaccinated or not and then there were doctors. So they checked with the doctors for the children whether or not the children are vaccinated. So in in Germany, there has been a presentation just for this. In Tanzania, they were talking during this conference, there is women's circumcision. As you know, activists, they are against in Tanzania of this women's circumcision. They have... So in the conference, they have asked that how many people have worked for Tanzanian geographical map? So the person, the person who asked this question got an answer that like many people has established information. They gathered information for um, Tanzanian localization, geographical, and the person who asked this question thanked those people who donated information because he said because of your information, thanks to your information, geographical information, there are 8,000 women saved from female circumcision. So you can touch lives, you can save lives just because you donate information. You just establish a map. So we are talking about Denizli right now. We have worked as a person. I was here. The, I was here to help to. We were there at the beginning, 60 people, and at the middle, we were like 400 people. It was the first time in Turkey just to help people. We have we have made a geographical research. It was after a big earthquake in 2000. 12. We helped Alaze also with Mustafa Akkul Özgül. We have two camps, winter camp and a summer camp for the name to Mustafa Akkul, who is a great person who loves to help. And meanwhile, we were working with Mustafa Akkul for these camps. There was an Alaze earthquake. So we started geographical information establishment in Elaze. We helped to people living there, the citizens over there, and we supported them informationally. Two years ago, there was an earthquake in Izmir. We just didn't do some research, geographical information research work with the people who are living there there, we done more. We checked Afad's website. We got the exact table of the places after the earthquake people can get together. And then we did it on a map. We took all this information to the map. 
the information of the people who can gather after the earthquake. Then we showed people where they can gather after the earthquake on map. to help from the architectures and the engineers. We took help and support for the buildings. Are they good for people? Are they dangerous? How many stages do they have? What kind of notifications do they have? Do they have a rooftop? Are they illegal? Oshaidi, there is another institution. They are established by northern African communities. Oshaidi, people, people got the application. You can tell, you can inform us the damage you've got. So many people joined this small game or like application. I have this kind of problem. I need some blankets. It's cold. In my house, there is a damage. I see the cracks in my house. And these are the photos. There was some inspections of the damage of the people's houses. And thanks to the help from architectures and engineers, the damages has been battered. They help people to have less dangerous danger. So what we have done more is we have established, we have set a school, we have, we have teaching many things. For example, free geographic information technologies. For example, when you write per quill via Wikidata, so you can just write a couple of queries and then you can have information on overpass API, APJ. And we have QJS and PostJS. We have shown and taught students all these gadgets. I'm sorry. With this all gadgets and everything, we have gathered information of the we've gathered information of the trees, what kind of trees are they? And with the help of the lecturers for exterior exterior architecture, we have gathered a huge information and it has helped many so we have free CBS gadgets in my professional life I also use that in my business life for example it's technology it's, for example from Wikidata when I download information I use QGIS. So I think I am over my time. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer. Thank you. First of all, thank you so much for your presentation. I, for a long time, we are friends, you know, and um, we have met with Orkut after the earthquake. There was a question, and I want to answer the question like everybody may have right now. What's, 
do we need to be a person who is engaged with maps when we do this, when we set information? I've started two years ago, actually, about this map uh, researches, um, and I really have a lot of fun. It's really very fun for me when I go to villages and walk on the streets. I I have to tell that you don't need to be a mapist um, to work on this. Maybe when you see on the representation, you will not be convinced, but I can say that. Maybe I can convince you about this because I have done it as a non-professional person. Many things have been done for this and many good things have been achieved and I want to thank you. If there is someone who wants to communicate with you, can you tell us your communication uh, contact number or something or how to contact we? Uh, our website is yachizenner.org. You can follow us on, on Instagram, Telegram, everywhere. You can contact us, communicate with us. There are many friends who are ready to help. Thank you so much at the beginning. I'm from Azerbaijan. I work in an academy there. I work on geography. It's really very interested on me. Like I'm very interested in this, so this is why I have a question. Open street map. Can we see geology or hydrology, hydrological places or anything regarding this other other fields of information? Like can we get information of the of the heights of the mountains or depths of the seas? You've talked about the Haiti, the earthquake in Haiti. Is it geomorphological or can we do a geomorphological map? There are labels specifically for specific land like landscapes. You can write detailed information, detailed labels about it. We sometimes use it. Uh, we use it via the photos taken from the cosmos. In Azerbaijan, we use it. I mean, I learned to know more about it. As far as I know, cosmos is Azerbaijan's own technology, right? In, Azer in Azerbaijan, for Karabakh, after the war, we have experienced many difficulties. So we experienced difficult situations uh, because we should have had the map um, correctly, currently uploaded. I work. I already work about this. We work on 3D videos, photos, but all the photos should be calculated, evaluated. I hope I will see you in Azerbaijan and we will work all together. Hello, hi, welcome back. I have I have a question which is regarded in Wikidata too. I am also contributing on open street data, but um, I contribute more on Wikidata. I think there is um, there is a mislinking. There is this small problems between Wikidata and Open Street. I want to take I want to put Wikidata information on Open Street. I put QR QRDs. Can we develop this license license discussions? Um, do we have any discussions? Actually, we have these discussions about the licenses. So maybe you know it's about JavaScript, and maybe we can we can upload the Wikidata and everything. Maybe we can do this. This is an option. It's too much work to do, as you know. Maybe we can do it JavaScript. Maybe uploading it with JavaScript is possible. So it can be done. Like at one time, you can upload 20 or 30 data at one time at once. Maybe it could. It would be great if you just take all the information automatically and matching. It would be perfect. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kair, I'm from Kazakhstan, and uh, our general 
prosecutor has a, a map of crime of Kazakhstan. So there are, uh, every district center has a map, detailed map. So can we uh, upload all this information to OpenSafe data? Uh, I'm not sure about the criminal layers, uh, but maybe there could be uh, some objects like the police stations or the uh, local uh, law enforcement uh, agencies' uh, locations. So uh, it should be uh, very helpful for people. So what license we need to uh, upload to OpenStreetMaps? Uh, if data belongs to you, uh, if data belongs to you, you can uh, upload it, and after that, it will be automatically licensed by uh, ODBL, Open Database License. Ah, it belongs to government, so can we ask uh, government for what license we should mention about? Um, <coughs> I am not sure about the government's policies, but uh, if they uh, give you the permission for uploading, uh, it will automatically be licensed with uh, ODBL. Okay. But uh, before that, uh, you don't uh, need uh, a special license. But maybe you need to improve. Uh, you need to prove that uh, the data uh, is <coughs> uh, yours, or uh, the agency gives you the permission. I mean, you need a permission. Uh, documents or something like that. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure for me. Başka soru kalmadı galiba. Çok teşekkür ederim dinlediğiniz için. Sağ olun.